Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 15. Uh, okay, in the previous episode uh, we will just take a moment of silence for the single strand of hair that was sacrificed uh, from like Ox Kun's, I think his name was Ox, uh, Ox Kun's like head, bald head, it, like it was the only strand of hair and he lost it. So rest in peace and I hope that <laughs> you get a lot of more friends in your next <laughs> life <laughs> because he was lonely the single strand of hair was so lonely in such a big head and <laughs> and one of the Thompsons is I think her name is Patty I always like confuse the names uh, like yanked it off just and that was so sad <laughs> okay anyways so the previous episode was so hilarious and what the hell is happening to my hair okay uh, the previous episode was so hilarious and uh, like like it is uh, like always welcome uh, in animes to like for occasional breaks and like they like just completed a kind of a serious arc so we got a little bit of break and uh, the comedy like I enjoy Solita's comedy so much like it has such a unique kind of uh, way of presenting itself because like none of the things are cliched each and each and everything are like fresh and all like uh, nowadays uh, comedy animes like comedy in uh, some animes are like just generic stuff boring cliched uh, and the same jokes over and over again I'm not talking about the pure comedy animes like Konosuba, uh, Asugi Asuba, so they are like in a league of their own like the, and Gintama, their comedy is like gold tier comedy, I'm not talking about those I'm talking about the regular animes where like comedy uh, portions are like included uh, like uh, sh action, uh, like shonen animes or shoujo animes or whatever like um, uh, mecha, all of those different types of animes which are not comedy centric uh, these type of animes when they try to like insert comedy they kind of like do the same jokes over and over again like same cliche jokes same thing so like it's like quite refreshing to see that yeah this type of uh, comedy also existed in uh, an anime which focuses not on the comedy itself which is not a comedy show like this is a shonen show and like the take on like the uh, way they kind of like include small bits of comedy and small bits of uh, funny portions is so good and I like I really wish that uh, like uh, different animes kind of like take this kind of step uh, comedy nowadays are like amazing uh, I'm talking about like as I said before Konosuba, Asobi Asobase, uh, Gintama and there are many more like with like such so amazing comedy that we've never seen before but I'm not talking about those, I'm talking about the other animes, that is the normal generic ones, that is uh, the other type of genres. Uh, when they try to <laughs> do comedy, they kind of like fail at that. So yeah, like I'm quite uh, having a lot of fun with this type of uh, comedy. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 15 of Soul Eater. Um, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Damn, the sun, always laughing. So positive and bright. <laughs> Okay, what's happening here? Fog. Some kind of fog. Black dragon. Okay. Wow, that's huge. Damn, that's large. Whoa, this is so tall. It's a dragon? What the hell? This looks more like something else. This is not a dragon. What the hell is that? Oh. 
um i don't know what that is but that's definitely not a dragon what is that or was it a dragon i don't know Like it's a, it's been almost like 15 episodes, but I still don't know uh, like the Thompson sisters' name. One of them is Patty. I can remember. I, I'll have to check that out. I'll make that like a mental note to check their name out later on. Like one of them is Patty, and I don't know the other's name, and I don't even know which one is Patty. Like, is it the younger one or the el elder one? Uh, I'll I'll make sure to check it out. Because when like uh, addressing them is quite difficult. Like I always say like the elder one or the uh, smaller one, but a younger one. Okay. What the hell is this? <laughs> wow, all of the different expression of... <laughs> what is this? Is this uh, like a Thompson cen sister centric episode? Where is, where is Kid? Oh, that is Kid. Wait. He looked a, like a lot like Shinigami. Okay, so like Shinigami is not look does not look like that. There is a person behind that. Mask or whatever? Okay, let's see this. Damn, that's like a teeth mark in the island. It's that guy, isn't it? Who like saw the dragon or whatever that is. Oh boy, he's traumatized. Damn, the elder sister looks like so, like, it, it looks like she has had it all, like seen it all. Where is... Hmm. Okay, so this is a kid-centric episode. Liz, okay, Liz and Patty. <laughs> nah, she's okay like that. <laughs> That's a pig. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's a monkey. <laughs> God damn this girl. <laughs> yeah, that makes him feel cool. <laughs> what place of a sailor? Hmm. Coral. Damn the face. The treasure or something like that?
ओके फ्रॉग ओ माय गॉड दिल कर क्रैश नहीं आप ओ माय गॉड व्हाट द हेल इज दैट दैट्स नॉट अ ड्रैगन दैट्स अ शिप दैट्स अ शिप दैट्स नॉट अ ड्रैगन वाव just like a haunted ship need hog okay oh need hog like that dragon yeah nos mythology ghost ship named need hog okay well yeah Wow. Wow. <laughs> What she's like going towards the direction. <laughs> yeah. That is problem. Okay. <laughs> yes, do it over. <laughs> Oh no. What is he doing? <laughs> okay, that's perfect. <laughs> Idiotic ADOC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god these guys what what are those sitting behind you <laughs> what's that oh hmm Okay, let's see. Oh, a lot of souls. Oh, these must be like the trapped souls or whatever. Oh no, they're collecting the souls. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh my god. ओके ओके ओए व्हाट ओह माय गॉड Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Oh, okay. Closest to all of you. they're all for him hmm since uh, far uh, waiting for the song of the demon god Oh. Yeah, his great cause. Wow. Symmetry.
Oh my god, this girl's alone. Like, she can't even wield a weapon because, like, she needs another one. Yeah, as I was saying, symmetry. <laughs> what are these? Okay, so that is how. <laughs> wow, that is like. Oh my god. Oh no. Don't listen to it. You should not follow a little girl in these type of situations. <laughs> That's usually like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god. Well, oh god. <laughs> Oh, she's <laughs> in front of her now. Okay, let's see the face. Oh, that's a cute face. <laughs> oh no. She better not like faint. What's happening? Okay, she... <laughs> um... Oh, that's nice for uh, about for you. Like, <laughs> um, I don't think that face kind. <laughs> that's not a face that you. <laughs> I'll knock you into next week. <laughs> Let's see what Spat is doing. Okay. Mudada. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so because of symmetry, see, she, he, oh no. <laughs> God damn this guy. Okay, they're kind of showing a backstory, but we need more explanations. Wow, that's very nice of them. Like they're like even after death, they're helping people. So good. <laughs> How should sinless humans? Yeah. 
and that's like a nice like what can i say interesting way of thought like yeah we, we need all type of people yeah Hmm. I would never grant freedom of murder. Damn, they're like a whole family. No. Okay. Oh my god, the skeletons are not here. When they're like skeletons died? Um, ghosts can't eat people. They're not monsters. <laughs> and there they are. Oh Yeah Transform yes <laughs> Okay Okay, let's see well kid is extremely powerful like we've already seen that so Oh, wow, okay, that was unexpected. What happened there? Oh, great. Corona is here. So like is Medusa nearby as well? Oh, oh well, that was quick. Damn, he's like flexible. Oh, screaming resonance. This is like one annoying power, like screaming at the like top of your lungs. Oh, they, like are they absorbing the souls? Wow, like. There are a lot of souls here, so like they'll get like gain a lot of power at once. Oh, damn, like. Oh no. Well, this is a problem. Oh. Okay. Okay. Calm down, Jesus. What's transformed? Oh, like uh, he came out. Ragnarok came out. <laughs> All right. Oh god, the scream is so... Okay. 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 Damn. Well, like, he consumed so many souls and like, he's so powerful now. Hmm, yeah.
Well, I I don't like uh, I'm not overly concerned because kid is quite strong. Like he has tricks up his sleeves. So damn that pose. <laughs> okay, that's some JoJo level pose. Okay, that is the end. Okay, this was like a nice mix of uh, serious moments as well as um, comedy moments as well. I like this ending a lot more than the first one. Like, <coughs> hmm. Yeah, this, this uh, my ending is a lot like better than the first one, like uh, in my opinion, like according to my music taste. Okay, <clears throat> that was episode number 15. Yes, okay, that was the end of episode number 15, and this will continue in the next episode. And uh, let's talk about this episode first of all. <clears throat> like, as I was saying, that's not a dragon, and turns out that I was right, that was kind of a dragon, I think. like. Uh, they were like mixing a dragon and a ship and uh, the ship's name was Nidhogg and uh, obviously Nidhogg is a dragon in Norse mythology as they said and uh, <coughs> so yeah that is a weird fusion between a ship and a dragon anyways and uh, like one thing I was like a bit um, what can I say not surprised but a bit uh, what can I say yeah, you can say you're kind of surprised that uh, he, when he was we like when uh, Kid was wearing uh, the uh, clothes of uh, the principal, he looked a lot like him. At first, I thought that was like the principal, the Shinigami principal. But like so, like all of these episodes in the all of these previous episodes, I've like I've thought that the principal looked like that. Now I'm thinking like no probably not like he's probably also uh, like has like a human face or something like that and he's probably also like wearing a uh, kind of like a garment and a mask and like this episode like kind of made me realize that because like at first I was like I was a bit confused like uh, I was thinking like uh, the Shinigami principal was standing and Liz and Patty were rowing the boats so I was thinking like where is Kid so then he removed the mask and I saw that yeah this is Kid so maybe like uh, the principal like also like looks like a human like that is the like the most what can I say the obvious thing like Kid is a human Kid I mean a human child <laughs> so like obviously his parents would also be like l at least look like humans so I don't know why I thought that that was the original form of the principle so yeah like so I'm thinking that he also at like uh, even if he's not a human he at least looks like a human under that mask or whatever that he always wears so yeah that was kind of like a weird thing I like I always thought that he looked like that but apparently and um, that might not be the case so yeah and uh, we see that uh, most probably his uh, dad kind of like <coughs> let them go on this mission and, and to solve it whichever way possible but I doubt he thought like he even had the like uh, I don't know like uh, I doubt he had ever thought that uh, Ragnarok would 
appeared here because like Ragnarok is quite powerful and even though Kit is strong but Ragnarok like ate at lot like at least a um, hundred or two hundred souls human souls at the same time so I'm guessing his power has also like increased that much so like I was not worried about the other guy that is the <coughs> the first guy who were who was like the main person like the main kind of captain of the ship because even though he was like what can I say he was annoying and uh, powerful but I doubt he would have posed a threat to uh, Kit but now that we uh, like are seeing that um, uh, Corona, uh, Corona came back uh, so the difficulty level of this mission kind of like jumped up a bit not a bit but quite a, a considerable amount because like I'm thinking like they are like at the same level power level like kid and Corona so like this will be like an interesting uh, fight and uh, yeah like uh, this episode was hilarious uh, as well and <laughs> We also like kind of got a small glimpse of their backstory. Like uh, they never like said anything verbally, but through the visuals and all, I can kind of guess what happened. So like as far as we can see, like uh, Matt, uh, not Matt, uh, Patty and Liz, they were like the Thompson sisters, and uh, Kid, uh, being the child of Shinigami uh, principal like he was obviously like uh, as he said that i was uh, brought a lot of uh, arranged marriage uh, like uh, prospects and interviews but i turned them all down because of his obviously the symmetry thing so like um and another thing here is that i'm thinking like i don't know like uh kid was saying that arranged marriage uh, uh like uh candidates so like does that mean that like whoever is your partner or like weapon partner whoever is your weapon partner is like someone who is like betrothed to you or like uh, someone like engaged to you and you'll probably marry them in the future I think I don't know like the way they kind of like said that was like uh, is like pointing towards that so I'm guessing like usually uh, like the people who kind of uh, form a couple are like uh, the human master master and the uh, weapon uh, partner so like that is usually how it goes so like uh, in the future probably like most probably what is going to happen is like Sol and Marka would get married and uh, Subaki and um, Black Star, and so I'm thinking in in that way, like he, like the way they kind of like said that, like arrange marriage candidates. I'm thinking like that is what usually happens. And obviously, Maka's dad and uh, Maka's mom are uh, like divorced, but that is like after they were married. Like they were married at one time, so like usually that happens. I think. I don't know like uh, the way they kind of said that kind of like made me think that um, most probably this is how it happens usually so like this is just my guess anyways so here's the thing like so what happens now like is like is kid going to get married to two girls like what is that <laughs> I don't know anyways so um, so like, the backstory is kind of interesting like um, they were like these gangster and uh, kind of uh, ladies who roamed the streets and all and kind of like were uh, delinquents and uh, they tried to like what can I say and uh, they tried to mess with kid and <laughs> kid I don't know what happened but kid probably like turned the tables around and we also like kind of saw uh, like in, in the visuals that Kid uh, finally like helping them do something like there were a lot of like people uh, like who were like wearing the uh, a uniform kind of thing were like uh, sprawled down on the ground and they were like making a heap and Kid was standing on top of them and Liz and Patty were standing down and they were like surprised so I'm thinking like uh, like Liz and Patty tried to kind of mess with him but uh, Kid 
like helped them later on and after that like they decided to become uh, his uh, partner and because like they were like symmetrical and like they, they were like two of them uh, he was also comfortable uh, taking them as his partner so i'm thinking like uh, that's what happened and <laughs> like uh, so okay so um liz is the elder one and patty is the younger one okay so <laughs> like <laughs> like these girls are like so what can i say like their personality and their behavior so dive like like completely the opposite i'm <laughs> like 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 kid mess and fusses about uh, what is that uh, symmetry but like <laughs> their <laughs> behavior and their personality is like as asymmetrical as it can get like uh, Liz here is a scared like a girl who kind of freaks out in each and every small little thing and Patty is just like eh, whatever who cares that type of girl like <laughs> she's so funny like what can I say like uh, like <laughs> like the random things that she does like it always cracks me up and <laughs> also like uh, obviously Liz uh, also cracks me up but Patty is like just random like like because she's like just so random like what can i say like uh, i don't expect it uh, most of the times and yeah like uh, obviously this episode had kid so like this was bound to be funny <coughs> and and then comes in ragnarok and all the fun and games are over ragnarok sucks up all the uh, souls and well, uh, I don't know, like Ragnarok came out of Krona and he like it's uh, like I get the feeling that he's become a lot more stronger and I think like uh, uh, Kid will have to like use his powers like that soul resonance that he kind of like showed to uh, soul before like that was pretty cool and um, i'm thinking like in the next episode they're like going to get into a uh, like amazing kind of battle and i'm quite like excited to see that and uh, yeah that was this episode and ragnar kind of transformed into uh, i don't know what the hell that was um, uh, a kind of like a bird uh, a, a dragon kind of thing with like uh, lips and I don't know, and wings and stuff like those. So yeah, like that was like his transformation. And uh, yeah, that was this episode. Uh, this was funny. Like uh, like this was not complete. Like all of this, not all of it was funny, but it was like a balanced balance between like uh, funny parts and kind of like a serious serial part there. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed this quite a lot. <coughs> we got. <coughs> to see more <coughs> and we got to know more about Liz and Patty and uh, Kid and like uh, backstories are always welcome in these type of shows Why we like we definitely need more backstories of all of these different type of characters so yeah that was this episode all right so that was episode number 15 and yeah another thing I'm going to say here is like I know that uh, Krona is <coughs> like the author did not mention uh, specify his uh, the gender of him and uh, usually uses the male pronoun and that is he him uh, because like uh, i think he kind of said that uh, like referring to him as it or they is like kind of like insensitive and like makes it feel as if like uh, he's not a person and kind of like a thing so i think like he uses the male pronoun that is the reason why and I'm also going to do that that I'm going to like refer to Krona as a him and uh, I'm going to also use a male pronoun uh, l just like the author does so yeah that is like I wanted to mention that so yeah guys um, that is uh, uh, this is episode number 15 of uh, Soul Eater uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you guys enjoyed my reaction place that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so and uh, comment down below anything you want to share with me anything you want to say about this episode i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yes i'll be back with the new soul eater episode after one day 
so until then goodbye and have a nice day